Hi guys, Bug Bite here. Uh, as you know, I've been working on a project to try and replace my car PC uh, with an iPhone or an iPod Touch in this case. Uh, and I found that working on these projects, uh, the best way to go about it is to uh, use baby steps. So what I've been doing is just trying to simply figure out ways that I can output video from my iPod Touch to my computer screen in my car. And I found two different ways to do it, and I'll tell you about those here. Um, the first is uh, an application called TV Out, and TV Out is a fairly straightforward application. You uh, simply run it, and it lists all of the apps on your iPod, and you can select whether to turn them on or off for output. You then exit, and when, upon running the application, it shows up on screen. very simple, very straightforward. Uh, the only disadvantage is that TV Out pipes all of your output to the TV screen or to the monitor screen. So what that means is that the screen on your iPod is blank when TV Out is outputting uh, your application uh, to the screen. Makes it hard to uh, navigate and makes it hard to uh, touch and, uh, and operate any of the controls. But it is nice because it gives you that granularity down at the application level uh, for, uh, for video output. The other uh, application, uh, which is actually uh, probably more suitable for the car uh, use, is called Screen Splitter. And Screen Splitter is a very interesting application for a couple of reasons. Well, first of all, obviously, it allows you to output your, your iPod uh, screen uh, to a, either a composite or a component um, uh, output. Now, with Screen Splitter, what you do is you turn Screen Splitter on, uh, and it will uh, simply then run in the background and output everything to the uh, screen. Uh, and not only that, it will show it on both the screen on the iPod and the screen on the output device, which makes it easy to navigate. Uh, and so, uh, so it's it's pretty good. And that's that, that's um, that's certainly a step forward. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, at least initially, is to be able to uh, both navigate and uh, and view the output uh, from my iPod on my car screen. My car screen takes a composite uh, output, uh, and the uh, quality of the output is uh, you know it's not great, uh, but on this uh, this big monitor, um, it doesn't look. Um, I mean, it looks okay, but it doesn't look great. I think on the smaller monitor, it probably will look all right. What you really want to do though is to get uh, get it nice and full, nice VGA. Uh, color and output uh, just like you do with our with our computer screens. Um, fortunately, Screen Splitter gives you a way to do that and it eliminates the use of this cable. How does it do that? Well, uh, one, what you do is you load uh, an additional application called VNC onto your iPod. You then start Screen Splitter and you can then control your iPod and view your iPod screen from any browser window. And so what that means is, uh, I can, I, as long as I'm on a, a network with a computer, I can fire it up and, and uh, remote control my iPod uh, on screen, uh, on the, on the, using the browser screen. If you have a touch screen, you can use the touch screen to simply operate and, and, um, uh, and navigate on the iPod. It's pretty straightforward stuff. Now there is a little bit of a lag, but the the really cool part about this is the lag is caused by the fact that it's that the iPod is relaying its video over the Wi-Fi network to your browser, and that means you don't need one of these. The the iPod itself works wirelessly over your network. Now what's the downside? Well, the downside is aren't we trying to replace the computer in the car with this? And in order to have a browser screen appear on your, uh, on your car display, you're going to need some sort of a computer driving a browser window. And you're also going to need uh, a Wi-Fi network in, in your car. So again, baby steps, uh, but still very promising in, in terms of technology. 
So anyway, I hope you found uh, this discussion of how to get the iPod or, or the iPhone out uh, to your car uh, useful. Uh, if you've got anything else uh, to add to the discussion, come and find our thread on, um, on mp3car.com. It's help bug bite kill his car PC.